Indonesia is getting ready to host G24 ministers meeting on July 7 to 8 in Bali. Indonesian Foreign Minister Ratno Marsudi had a bilateral meeting with her Emirati counterpart Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nahyan in Bali on Wednesday. Australian Foreign Minister Penny Wong through a media statement Wednesday confirms she will attend the meeting in Bali saying that the G20 has a vital role in ensuring food and energy security both threatened by Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Wong expects G20 Foreign Minister's meeting will send a clear message to Russia and she commends Indonesia for inviting Ukraine to participate at the meeting as a guest participant. China Foreign Minister Wang Yi is expected to attend the meeting as the stated during his visit to Thailand. On Wednesday afternoon, Turkish Foreign Minister Mevlut Kavuzoglu also arrived in Bali. It is not clear whether Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov will attend the meeting in person or via virtual. The theme of G20 Foreign Minister's meeting this year is building a more powerful, stable, and prosperous world together. Indonesia and UK on Tuesday have launched a program called Future Cities, UK-Indonesia Low Carbon Partnership. The launching was part of the implementation of a memorandum of understanding between the two countries by Indonesian Transportation Minister Budi Karya Sumadi and UK Transportation Minister Wendy Morton in June this year. Before the launching, British Ambassador to Indonesia and Timor-Leste Owen Jenkins and Secretary General of the Indonesian Transportation Ministry Novi Rianto were signing an impl implementing agreement for the program in Jakarta on Tuesday. This program is an initial action from the two countries' commitment to mitigate the impact of climate change for the development of city eco-friendly public transportation. British government through UK Partnering for Accelerated Climate Transition, or UK Pact, is allocating support fund of about 162 billion rupiah, or about 10.8 million US dollar, for the development of city eco-green public transportation in several provinces in Indonesia, North Sumatra, Jakarta, West Java, Central Java, East Java, and South Sulawesi, according to Ambassador Jenkins.